So I had an issue with my Taurus pistol and 40 caliber, my Taurus G2C 40 caliber. Um, I did a couple ballistic test videos on that and I did a video where I unboxed it. And in that video, I couldn't get more than like, I don't know, two rounds to cycle without the thing jamming. Then the magazine parts started breaking and the magazine started falling out. So I got my Taurus G2C 40 back from a repair about a two week turnaround so before i show you what they did and before we test it to see if it runs i'm going to tell you the story here on this so i picked this up in february and i started recording with it immediately i didn't release videos until i think a month or two later after i had it because every test video i did was super unreliable and anytime i release a video like that i get a bunch of trolls that come on and go on and on and on about how i don't know how to shoot how i'm hitting the magazine release this Go on and on, on about stuff. But anyways, I contacted Taurus. I waited a little while. I think I, it was about May when I tried to contact them. I tried to contact them. I said, hey, I need a, you know, a, a mailing sticker, a FedEx sticker, so I could send this in for repair, because you guys do that, and et cetera, et cetera. And then the, res the automated response, yep, we'll, we'll send you that. Never got it. Checked my spam folders, checked everything, never got it. And I did that probably three or four times, never got it. Then I would say in July, I did that probably three, four, five more times. I contact them. I say, hey, I need some help with this. I need to send it back. Okay, we'll send you this this label. Never did it. And then in September, I had enough. I kept doing it and doing it five, six times. I said, hey, I need the sticker. Okay, we'll send it to you. And then I contacted customer support and I said, you guys have not sent me the sticker. What is going on? And then they acted like they didn't know what I was talking about. And then they said, okay, we'll send you that sticker. Never did. Had to go through that process three or four or five more times. Finally, I said, you know what? I have a YouTube channel. I got this many subscribers, et cetera, et cetera. You, need, you guys need to send me this label or I'm just gonna go on the, a video. I'm gonna break the thing and tell, tell everybody what you guys have not done. And then they're like, they came back like a couple days later we assumed that your problem has been resolved. <laughs> like, my problem has not been resolved. I've asked for the past four and five months to get a label to send this back. You guys are putting me through the runaround. And somehow this time it worked where they sent me a label to send it back. So it took me about five months to be able to send it back in for me constantly trying. So I got it back in about two weeks. And here's the paper we got. So not impressed with their customer service, to say the least. So, dear value customer, your firearm has been repaired under our lifetime repair policy. Thank you for being a Taurus owner. Sincerely, customer service. So they wrote, they uh, put on here everything they did here. Probably won't be able to see it on camera, but area of concern, barrel, replaced existing, magazine assembly, replaced existing, magazine release, replaced existing, Magazine release spring replaced existing trigger bar adjusted and then they tested 20 rounds of Winchester 140 grain 100 or 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain full metal jacket So incidentally, that's what I actually have happen to have on hand So I'm gonna be running that same ammunition through it that they tested it with and said that it was fine. So Here's our 40 Smith & Wesson pistol. This is this is the type of uh, system they use here <laughs> as a block. Uh, not very impressive there, but what can you expect with about a $250 pistol? So I'm really curious if this thing's going to run now. So let's put some ammo in it. Let's see if it runs for me. All right, I'm about seven yards from the target. I could not get more than like one or two shots to, to cycle before, and this was the issue also. I couldn't rack the first round in without doing this. I can't get the magazine out either. Have to lock this back. Try to get that magazine out. Well, that's not a good start. There we go. Let's see. It's 100% reliable now. Hmm. 
half rack bang always fixes it. That's what the internet trolls tell me. And that's what happens when you tap, tap rack bang in this type of situation. If any expert could tell you. Except for the internet experts would not tell you that. <laughs> So they're telling me they ran this exact ammo through this, 20 rounds, no issues. There we go. I think that was 10 rounds, 10 or 12, whatever this holds. Awesome reliability. If you redefine what awesome means. That's interesting. That uh, you definitely adjusted that spring. That thing shot out um, when I pushed that button. So for whatever reason, this magazine runs. The other one does not run at all. Let's see if I can repeat that result. All right, for just a little change of scenery, I'm gonna fire from 25 yards, and I'll show how I shoot these things. I don't like to go thumbs forward like this, and the reason why is because I don't think that does anything, but I'm shooting 75% revolvers, so I don't want this to be my muscle memory on a revolver for obvious reasons. But on little pistols like this, I generally put my thumbs kind of high like this, pushing this one back while I'm pushing this one forward, and I'm nowhere near that magazine release when I do that. And I got a nice tight grip on here, so I could get only nine rounds in these magazines. And here's that one that I had an issue with before. Well, let's see what this does for me. Believe it or not, some people would tell me that's all me. I'm doing that. <laughs> so here's the magazine that seemed to work for me. Seems to work when I hit that mag release button just fine. So that's enough to tell me uh, what's going on. And one thing I do notice, I have to adjust my hold because this gap right here between the magazine and the pistol is quite big. And when it recoils, 40 recoil is pretty heavy uh, in a small pistol that comes up and it pinches me every time, causes me to flinch. So that's why I'd start to mess and then I'd have to kind of pull that, that pinky away from there and hold as tight as possible. You guys couldn't see that, but um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do here. So I'm not gonna send this back to Taurus. I have, I'm get tired of dealing with them. I'll probably contact them and say, hey, look at this footage. I'm sure it's all me, right? And uh, have them send me a new magazine and throw this one in the garbage. So yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. So just thought I'd give a quick update on that. So. Taurus, this is this is Taurus. This is my experience with the, with them. There's a lot of people out there that say they have this experience with like Smith and Wesson or something like that. I never had an issue with Smith and Wesson myself. Any type of Smith and Wesson, other than I had a spring break on the Governor uh, extractor. It would still work. If you just had to manually pull the, the, the extractor forward before you re reload it. But if you went to extract the the rounds, 
it would stay out. So I sent the, that back in. That's really the only issue I ever had with Smith & Wesson. I've had issues with Glock. I've had issues with, uh, none with Ruger. Most people say they never had issues with Ruger. It, it's, I've never had issue with the Ruger. Um, and you'll hear that same thing. Even the people that say they have Smith & Wesson issues, they'll say, I never had a problem with the Ruger. I never had a problem with Ruger either. That's why my daily carry is always in my pocket with this uh, LCR here. I definitely trust this thing, even though it's using a transfer bar, which I don't really like on revolvers. I do trust the thing because it's been reliable. Uh, but Taurus, it's at least a 50% send back rate. So when you get a good one, they work okay. But it's like 40% of the time you'll get a good one. So <laughs> it's kind of a gamble. So that's just an update. I'm going to mark this or throw it away. And contact them again. So that's just a good today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.